expect in place across the northern half of the UK. Heavy rain and strong winds are forecast for much of the country over the next 36 hours. Energy companies are putting extra staff on standby in case of power cuts, while rail passengers are being urged to make... The Watson Wireless Radio Controlled Weather Information and Forecasting System in your own home. The Watson W 8683 is a radio controlled wireless weather station. Radio controlled means that the link between the external sensor and the main uh, weather station LCD readout is connected by wireless so there's no cables which makes it very easy to install. Just put the sensor outside within a range of about 100 feet. And the radio control refers to the fact that the time and date is radio linked so that you always have a very accurate time and of course the right date. Setting up is easy. The main LCD display requires three AA cells and these are inserted in the rear panel. Likewise the remote sensor also requires AA cells, in this case two cells and again uh, inserted in the rear panel. The remote sensor can be mounted using the supplied screw or alternatively using the tie wrap which enables it to be hung in any convenient position. Once the batteries are inserted both units become live and you need to wait around three minutes before the two units talk to each other and that's indicated by the fact that the main LCD display will indicate the outside temperature. Now let's take a look at the LCD display itself and see what information it actually gives you. We start at the top left. The top left is the time and that is either 12 hours or 24 hours and as we said earlier that is locked to a radio signal so it's always very accurate. Then we have the date. Then below that we have the indoor humidity on the left and the indoor temperature on the right and the temperature can be either set to Fahrenheit or Celsius. Below that we have the outside information. On the left hand side again is the outside humidity and on the right hand side the outside temperature. Below that we have an indication of what the weather is at the moment and what it's likely to be and it really gives you a trend and the indicators will show rain, sunshine, clouds, storm etc etc. And then immediately below that is the barometric pressure and you can adjust this for your own locality so that so the reference point is very accurate. And then finally below that we've got a history of the pressure uh, over a period of time and you can see that you've got some bars there and that will indicate whether the pressure's falling or whether the pressure's rising and what the general indication is over a period of time. There are also some additional features. There's a snooze control which works in conjunction with the alarm and that alarm can also be used to indicate either a high or low temperature. There's a backlight as well for use in the dark and finally you can also find out the minimum and maximum temperatures recorded over a period of time.